As the 21st century continues to produce great technological advancements, the education sector continues to reap the rewards. 21st century classrooms benefit from technologies such as the interactive whiteboard and collaborative online tools such as Padlet to greatly enhance student learning. In the future, classrooms will use technologies such as augmented reality and virtual reality to greatly increase student engagement and enhance learning. Virtual reality works on the premise of creating a virtual world, real or imagined, and allowing users to interact with it. This immersive technology can be used in classrooms to further enhance student learning and engagement. Rather than reading about Egypt in a textbook and looking at pictures, for example, students will be able to don their virtual reality headsets and be instantly transported to Egypt. Here they'll be able to look around the pyramids, explore the ancient history, and get engaged with their learning. Microsoft has been working on an augmented reality headset called HoloLens, which beams holographic images and objects into the real world. This allows users to interact with the real world and technology simultaneously, and this can be used in classrooms for various applications. As shown in this video, the augmented reality can be used to explore anatomy, for example. Today we use a combination of cadavers and medical illustrations to teach students anatomy. This is a curriculum that hasn't drastically changed in over a hundred years because there simply hasn't been another way. The mixed reality of the HoloLens has the potential to revolutionize this education by bringing 3D content into the real world. Now one of the biggest challenges for students learning anatomy is understanding the body in three dimensions and how all the different systems fit together. Using holograms, we can easily separate and focus in on individual systems. For example, we can focus in on the femur, and students can immediately see some of the types of fractures they may one day encounter in the clinic. Now, I can leverage all of these new capabilities while maintaining the important connection with my students. When we're both wearing a HoloLens, I can see what they're looking at, what they're interacting with, I can assess their progress, and they can communicate with me and each other naturally. For example, I can see if Michelle has a question in class, or whether Gwen has a question while learning remotely. Now, obviously, a cadaver doesn't move. This makes it difficult to see the way a living body actually works. HoloLens doesn't have this limitation. Systems can be animated to easily see how things function. Let's take a look at the center of the cardiovascular system, the heart. It's an amazing organ. In reality, it's about the size of your fist. With HoloLens, we can easily scale up the heart to let students see minute details. We can even see inside the heart to see the valves in action. This is a new way of seeing things, and it has the potential to help students understand the structure and physiology of the body in a way that's just not possible today. Now, what you've just seen is a vision of how HoloLens could enhance one single subject. But as an educator, it's easy for me to see that it's not just anatomy that could benefit from this technology. This could change how everyone learns. Imagine for a moment some of the other fields that could be changed. For example, chemistry and genetics. Art. Engineering. And paleontology. And the best part is, we get to help define that future together. I can't wait to see what you future holographic developers are going to do with this amazing technology. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Michelle. That's not all. With Microsoft HoloLens and technology called Holo Teleportation, students may never need to attend school again, as you can see in this video. Imagine being able to virtually teleport from one space to another in real time. Hey, Sergio. How does it feel like to be holoported? It feels great to be holoported. So if Sergio is to wear his HoloLens device, and I'm going to wear mine, we can see each other in full wow. 3D in real time. We can interact and communicate as if we're co-present. Sergio, can you walk around my space? Can you walk behind this chair? So we're doing everything to give the impression that Sergio and I are present in the same space. Sergio, let's just do a high five. <laughs> That's Bye -bye. great. Thank you, Sergio. 
even if students do attend. As the video demonstrates, students will be able to re-watch classrooms, walk around classrooms, interact with classrooms as many times as they like after the fact. All of this thanks to technology such as augmented reality. In the future, classrooms will be diverse, technologically advanced places of learning, and students will be able to interact with all sorts of technologies in the real and virtual world. The possibilities for all of this technology integrated into education to teach students about all sorts of things from engineering, math, science, art, creativity, and technology is an amazing and exciting possibility.